Good morning, Banning Broncos. I hope you all had a wonderful Thanksgiving break. We are your hosts, Joseph Torres. And Adelina Espinosa. Welcome to V News. So, how was your Thanksgiving break, Joseph? You know what? It was really nice. I spent it with my family. I had a really good time. That sounds very nice. How was your Thanksgiving break? My Thanksgiving break was actually nice, too. I had really much time with my family. That was very nice. On today's V News, we're going to do a student profile on Teron Madison, talk about the up-and-coming water polo team, and end it with the student of the month. But first, here's today's announcements. Hello Broncos, on today's announcements we're going to be talking about the shirts that ASB is selling for seniors. It is $20 a piece and it represents the class of 2019. Get yours while you can. And remember Broncos, keep your school clean. Don't discard your trash onto the ground. Please be kind and put your trash into the trash bins. Those shirts really look nice, especially with the design. And welcome back to B News. Now let's kick it off with Jerron Madison. Hey everyone, it's Prince Waters and I'm with Teron Madison, uh, Oregon Commit. So how does it feel to be an Oregon yeah. Commit? It feels good, bro. I'm about to graduate early. It's smooth. What made you choose Oregon as the college you wanted to go to? I'm about to play early and I got a good relationship with the country. Do you have plans on going to the NFL? Yeah, man. Three years of college and I'm out that thing. So how long have you been playing football? Since I was seven, so around 2009, somewhere around there. What's your favorite NFL team? The Rams, Brett Todd Gurley. What made you think that football was the sport that you wanted to play? I suck that basketball, and I'm too big. You know, I can't really move all that good. Thank you for this interview, Teron. Have a good day. Teron is really inspiring. He's a really good teammate. Now moving on to our water polo team. Hello, I'm Justin Hernandez, a sports anchor. I was supposed to cover up for the week before last water polo game, but due to the weather conditions, it was canceled. I went ahead and caught up with both coaches to see how the season was going, both Mr. Johnson and Miss Keynes. Here's how it went. This here is Mr. Johnson, the, one of the water polo coaches. Mr. Johnson, are you excited for the season? Yes, I am very excited. Um, this has been a long time coming. Uh, I envisioned the water polo program for this high school uh, about five years ago. And we've been working on it tirelessly, you know, back and forth, year in and year out. And uh, we're uh, um, coming up upon um, the first girls water polo team in the school's history. All right, if this season goes well this year, do you plan to coach again next year? Oh, completely. I mean, working in any type of water sport has always been a passion of mine. And so I plan on staying at Banning High School for, you know, the unforeseen future so why not continue with the program next year alongside Mr. Johnson that would be the best thing possible. All right Miss Keynes that was a great answer I thought so <laughs> and good luck you. in your season. Thank you I really appreciate it thanks for taking the time to get the word out there to the student body about water polo. Okay Mr. Johnson how do you think this uh, water polo season is going to turn out? It's going to turn out great uh, it's it's a new program it's up and coming uh, the girls have been working really hard um, it, it's the first water polo team uh, girls water polo team in the school's history and it's going to be fun and it's going to be exciting. All right. Thank you Mr. Johnson. Thank you. Thanks. Thank you for giving me the opportunity. The water polo team is looking really good this year. Especially because we haven't had a team for a while. Now moving on to the student of the month for the month of November. Hello Broncos. I am the co-arts and entertainment anchor Mario Turley for this week. This week I was able to catch up with the student of the month of November David Mills and ask him a few questions. Here's how it went. How you doing, David? Good, man. What about you? I'm doing good. We're going to ask you a few questions today. Is that all right? Yeah. All right. How does it feel to be student of the month? You don't really feel any different. You just feel like a normal student who just got awarded for just being a student of the month. Yeah. It ain't no difference. <laughs> what accomplishments did you feel like you made to become student of the month? The accomplishments I made, I didn't. I don't think I really made any. All I did was just try to make my school life a little bit better by contact, by talking with my teachers more, and I guess that's how I got student of the month. Do you treat this accomplishment as like a very high matter to yourself, or do you find it as a small matter in your pathway as a person or your goal? When they first told me I got student of the month, I thought it was all about grades, and then they told me the reason why I got is from the hardships I've been doing in my life when going up and actually communicating with my teachers. Besides that, when they told me I got this. I looked at it and I'm like, this ain't that big of a deal. There's, there's no way it can be that big of a deal. And then they make it out to be such a big thing. It, and to me, it's just something small that you can make along the way if you choose. Is there anything else that you're trying to achieve this school year besides the student of the month? <laughs> Actually graduate on time. 
<laughs> That's cool. I heard you're trying to enlist in the army, and what are you doing to prepare yourself for that? Is there anything like uh, you know mentally, physically that you're doing, you know, to prepare yourself? For that, every night before I go to bed, you do 25 push-ups, 25 sit-ups. When you're able to, you go do a two-mile run. Or if you live out where I live, I go with for a two-mile hike with 25 to 50 pounds on my back every day if I'm able to. That's very cool. Thank you for coming out today and listening to us, man. And that's it for you, Broncos. Back to you guys. Welcome back. But first, here's a silent movie. It's a really funny one. Hope you enjoy. I can't believe it's already ending. I know, right? Well, signing out, Joseph Torres. And Adelina Espinosa. Stay, Stay classy, classy Banning High. high.